Hello, Soaring Moon here with another tutorial on how to form flux for this month of November, December. How's it going, people? And I am in my new Club World spawn, as you can see, uh, sitting on my little throne. I'm so cute. Anyhow, well, we're going to go over some of the ways you can form flux for this nice season of winter. Um, currently, they have released the winter pinatas. So, the season has officially begun. I will be showing you how I've made uh, Flux over the last couple weeks, because I've been farming dragon coins. Yes, they're farmable, uh, if you have enough Flux. Um, and trying to get my final dragon unlocked, so I can get those six mastery levels and uh, push myself up to 300. Now, the first... Um, the first way I've been doing this is how I've been covering them in previous tutorials before, and that is, of course, uh, farming radiant caches. And nothing has changed, really, <laughs> in the farming of radiant caches, and yesterday the price kind of dropped because um, it was the day that shards were being farmed. But um, you can see here, radiant caches... are uh, at 800 I, when I was selling them they were at about 1300 and really this is not necessarily true because um, somebody could easily buy up these and they resell them at a higher price so uh, that'll probably be sniped out of the market pretty quickly before uh, you know this time at the beginning of next week and as people stop uh, actually farming chaos uh, or uh, radiant caches. So, as we can see around, again, um, f farming radiant caches is easy. You just go up to a giant and you fight it until it gives you its caches. Uh, this may be difficult for some newer players or some players of lower power. Uh, for me, I just one hit them. So, uh, farming them is pretty quick. Um, you also get the Radiant Shards in addition to that. So every time I kill one of these things, um, Radiant Shards are going to be dropping in price because of Shard Day yesterday, but they're still four piece. So every time I kill one of these things, it's like uh, it's like 80 Flux. So, boom, 80 Flux. That easy. Um, it's actually quicker for me than farming the um, Shards from Dungeons. So... <laughs> whatever's whatever's on you it may be um, good for you especially if you have a shadow hunter um, be really quick and painless process hunting these things down to extinction so you know right now I've already made 400 flux and you know 400 in eight flux and I haven't even touched a radiant cache which would you know bump that by an additional 800 using this method I've been farming about uh, 30 to 50k in radiant shards and uh, radiant caches per hour and I use that to farm um, about uh, four to six hours of work I use that to um, farm myself uh, greater dragon caches um, at 40k a piece so I use that and I got 10 coins out of all of them <laughs> um, very very disappointing. I'm just gonna wait till next week so I can get the 25 coins and then um, do the hourlies and get my last 100 coins for my final dragon. So, again, it's always still viable that radiant cash farming, uh, radiant cash farming, uh, and shard farming will get you that pretty quick. And if you do 4 million damage with one hit, uh, you will KO those, um, those guardians pretty quickly. Just one hit out out of the way not even a fret so the next method that I've been doing is um, one uh, we're gonna go back to because I didn't expect this to be economically viable um, but it has recently become again so um, where as we were before suggesting that you go in for golden souls uh, golden souls prices are still hovering around 340 um, you get uh, somber souls. Somber souls are still, I think, 80. No, there. Oh well, 
I buy those. <laughs> so now they're about 70 flux. And, you know, it it works. So, um, somber souls are pretty easy to obtain. You just farm them in, uh, in the Vale biome. I always forget its name. The one with the skulls. You know what I'm talking about. Those enemies are everywhere, the ore is everywhere, so it's relatively easy to find them. You can find five or six of them in the same place, so that's fine. But the other economically viable method that we're going to be covering again is uh, the mining from Dragonfire Peaks bio in those caves because it's a lot of the prices have increased from some of the materials because of resource sinks being released into the game, um, requiring Primal Flame, and um, on a lesser note, Formicite. So, one thing that uh, is unexpected that um, really turned from needing those um, faces of flow for that dragon um, is that Formicite's prices have skyrocketed. So, collecting the form site is actually, you know, a really useful method of gaining flux now, where it used to not be. So, we're going to look at the prices and cover that really quickly. So, Infinium at 12 a piece. 12 a piece. And that's, and that's uh, you know, hovering around that too. Um, Shapestone is um, only at... Uh, at 2.6 a piece ish. Um, it's been hovering around there. And then Formicite, what you wouldn't expect is that it's up to about 4 flux a piece. Um, these are going down in price. And I will resell those for 4.5 right now. Um, because people are selling them at a price that they think is appropriate, but it's actually at 4.6. And I've been I sold um, 8k at that price yesterday, um, which helped assist me into um, getting flux to help some of the um, my clubbies for the equipment that they needed to reach 5k power. So I was helping them out. Um, and. Otherwise, um, with the Shapestone uh, still hovering at that price, Primal Flame um, is, you know, 46 a piece, piece, which is like bone prices right now, because Bleach Bones are um, like 53 or something like that. Yeah, uh, it's about the same price as uh, Primal Flame now, actually. So. That's a good thing to note. Um, which, uh, with the primal uh, primal flames prices going up, making bombs has also become an economically viable um, farming method. So, if you want to do either of those things, um, they both require time, and both of the um, the farming of radiant caches and shards and mining uh, give you about thirty to fifty k flux per hour, which, you know not having any issues with that. Um, another uh, supplementary income that uh, people have been uh, doing here recently is because in you can go to any Uber and do this, uh, any Uber water world, is farm the new dragons, um, the new dragons egg fragments. And I'll show you where we can do that. I'm actually getting these resources before I leave. <laughs> Throw in some bombs. Because uh, what I'll do is I'll take these uh, primordial flames and I'll make 500 more bombs, uh, rather 800 more bombs, and come back and mine with them and get like 3,000-ish more bombs and then sell those for about 60k flux, and that takes about an hour. 
and uh, they will be purchased. Uh, if not now, uh, they'll be purchased at the beginning of a week that requires uh, you to destroy blocks. And so that's a really good time to sell them. And so you can stockpile the bombs for an even better investment on your return. Or you can sell the bombs and buy the materials when they become cheap, whenever the, uh, the there's some kind of crafting event or something like that. Um, the crafting materials are going to become investable. And even better with the new adventure inventory that's going to be re released, which I believe is um, in testing on the, on the public testing server, you can hold an unlimited amount of those crafting materials. And apparently I had pinatas drop over my head and didn't realize it. So we're going to... I should easily one-shot all of these pinatas. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so, again, farming, um, traditional farming with bombs has become e economically viable again, which you wouldn't expect. Uh, farming recipes is still perfectly fine. In fact, recipe prices have increased because of um, an amount of flux being in, in input into the economy because of... Um, people opening a bunch of pinatas during the the previous pinata event um, and now which uh, incre artificially increased flux prices because they were giving out a lot amount of flux and uh, people were farming uh, pieces of equipment during the period where we could reforge uh, any of the pieces of equipment for the second stat so people were farming a large number of pieces of equipment which also artificially increased flux prices because they were scrapping the the piece of equipment, and all of this basically um, caused climb prices um, in the Pinata event to plummet, and caused the prices of everything that has a value in flux to increase. So all the recipes. Um, have increased even treasure isle recipes or uh, Turkotopia recipes. They're only worth this much because scrolls are worth that much. Um, over here, textured blocks, Jurassic, Jurassic, you know, these are all the worthless recipes. When we get over to neon recipes, um, they're almost 800 flux a piece, which uh, I know. There's at least a couple of you that have a bunch of those sitting around. Um, some people could be having 50 or 100 of them set back for whenever and sell them. I mean, <laughs> now's a good time before the, uh, the flux price um, gets artificially reduced because of the event of the, uh, the adventure inventory release. And people are kind of swinging in the, in the way like, hey, when this adventure inventory gets released, there's not going to be a, a cap on how much flux you can carry, and that's true. And that'll artificially in, in, uh, increase flux prices for some time. But in order to keep the, um, the amount of uh, inflation down, uh, the game developers will have to in, introduce some kind of flux sink. Um, in order to to mitigate that problem, and which will again artificially decrease those flux flux prices. So my advice to you is that whenever the adventure inventory gets released, farm as much flux as possible in as short of a time as as you can manage, and then save it because they're going to put it in some kind of flux sink in order to mitigate the amount of inflation that's going to occur. So that's your um, trove money watch for this month is do those things and you'll you'll come out on top um, economically another thing is that I've seen a, a, a decrease in the pearl, uh, pearl of wisdom prices because of the uh, a chaos chest price decrease they are increasing again so if you have saved up pearls of wisdom save them up for a little bit longer and we won't have the problem um, they're also going to be releasing an update related to chaos chests, which are going to change the way uh, way in which chaos chests function. Type chaos twice. 
Um, currently, the uh, price has dropped, and the price of chaos chests, chests may drop additionally even further, um, lowering the pearl prices again. So if you have pearls of wisdom, I'd advise probably selling them, um, uh, if, if only half of them, in order to buy chaos chests and save them back. So you heard that. Buy as many chaos chests as possible, save them, because they're going to be changing the way chaos chests, uh, chaos chests function, and um, players may not be able to get them as easily. And you see, I just sold that form site. See, they do, do it sells perfectly fine at 4.5k flux. So, I've been making plenty of flux from just form site farming, which, again, at one time was one of the worst methods of gaining flux. So, but now it is probably one of the best. You can supplement your in income easily by crafting bombs, and um, whenever you run into Formicite, don't be afraid to throw bombs at it because it is actually profitable now. So, there you go. Craft the maximum number of bombs I can, minus one, uh, and I'll take those 800 bombs, go back, cycle them through, go mining again, and rinse repeat until I have a stockpile of bombs that I'll sell for a lot of flux which at this point if I saw a stack of them it'll be like um, almost 100k flux which you know that's pretty reasonable um, don't sell them don't sell them in one stack of one of 10,000 uh, sell them in stacks of 1,000 and that usually sells pretty quickly and always undercut your competition by a bit so this guy who's uh, wants to sell 41 bombs, make some flux really quickly. Um, I'm just going to buy them from him. Um, just to be a nice person. I'm going to use those bombs and then probably sell them for 20 a piece. I'll get the, I'll get the flux back, it's not a problem. <laughs> but that person seriously needed money because he's selling uh, 41 bombs on the market. So I'm going to go ahead and give him what he wants. All right. Uh, if you have any other questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments below. I'll cover almost any topic that you'd like. Um, and I'd like to thank all of you. The, uh, I have plenty of subscribers on my channel now, and the channel's growing. It's been growing every day since uh, I started posting regularly, which is great. I haven't had uh, any any drop in subscriber count, which is uh, actually pretty, pretty impressive. Um, so... I don't know if the content I'm producing is desirable or what, but um, I would like to produce content for my community over the course of you know whatever amount of time I post the videos in. Um, if you want to see anything uh, out of me streaming or other games or anything like that, just let me know. Uh, hit me up. Uh, this has been Soaring Moon. I will see you for this segment sometimes next month. Um, we'll be posting other trope-related uh, videos and content during that period of time. I have a PvP compilation I plan on making, so, so I suppose. And I will see you guys later.